I'm Dr. Deborah Davis, and I'm here to talk with you today about the 5G uh, that Environmental Health Trust is quite concerned about. This is a network that's being rolled out all over the country that will involve thousands of antennas. I love my devices as much as anyone else, but I don't want to put the health of my grandchildren at risk. I don't want to put them in harm's way. And it, we now know that the skin, our largest organ, does respond to 5G. And in fact, we have in our sweat ducts, they can act as antennas that can receive signals. Now, this has not been tested for safety. The fact that it can interact with our sweat ducts may have much more profound meanings for our overall health and well-being. The idea that we're going to saturate this country with a network that has never been tested is appalling. And I am joining with many other scientists from around the world now to express concerns and to say we must evaluate these things before we roll out the technology. No matter how attractive it is for us to have faster downloads of video games, pornography, or virtual reality, the question we have to ask ourselves, is it worth endangering the health of our children to do that? For more information about this and other environmental health issues, please look at our website, ehtrust.org. Thank you. I just wanted to comment about what, what the 5G is. Maybe many of you do not understand. It's, uh, if, if it, uh, at this point, we use uh, uh, 3 gigahertz for mobile networking, then the 5G will introduce tens of gigahertz. It's like um, even 40 gigahertz. And these are no longer microwaves. These are millimeter waves. And they have, as Darius very well explained, it, these have totally different uh, biological effects. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, millimeter waves are used as a weapon. Uh, there are armies that use uh, active denial systems which direct millimeter waves to the attacking enemy and they will feel as their skin is burning. Of course, these weapons use uh, much more higher intensity power as, as we uh, expect from the 5G. But uh, it is also interesting to know that um, uh, already for a period of 10 years or so on the market there are millimeter therapy devices which are very low power, less than one milliwatt. And, uh, and these are used to change the metabolism of the, of the, of the cells. And these are mainly used in Russia and the form, former Soviet uh, Union um, and, uh, states. Uh, in, the, in the West, these devices are not so well known, but they indeed have a biological effect. And these are very, very low power devices, and they're based on the res resonant effect on the cells and, and on water mole molecules. So why are you here this, this weekend? Okay, I'm a Republican, and I'm hoping that Donald Trump will do better than Hillary Clinton. It's particularly in the area of wireless radiation health effects. Yeah. We know people are getting brain tumors from their cell phones. They're getting neurological effects. They don't from want to admit it. They don't want to admit it. They're getting neurological effects from Wi-Fi. Yeah. And people need to understand, Senator Thum, who's a Republican, has introduced the Mobile Now Act, which is going to put 5G technology, which is the new high-frequency microwave radiation That's that they're using. That's isn't it? Well, it's certainly going to make us sick. Yeah. Um, we know the low frequencies, and we're about 1 to 2 to 3 gigahertz now. This is going up from 24 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz. We're talking about high-frequency microwave radiation. They have never tested for <laughs> biological effects. They're just going to roll it out and see what happens. And we know what's going to happen. It pulses more. It has more waves per second. People are going to get sicker faster from it. And people need to wake up because it's coming to your neighborhood, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it if the Mobile Now Act is going to be passed. They're also going to modify the Telecom Act, which in Section 704 has been used for years to keep us from looking at health and safety when they're placing cell towers. They're now going to apply that to these small cells that they're going to put near your homes. This is an absolute travesty. This is a injustice to the nth degree, and everyone, and, and everyone is going to be paying the price for this. We need to stop the Mobile Now Act. We need to contact Senator Thune's office, who's leading the way. We need to demand that Donald Trump do better than Hillary Clinton and the Democrats, who sold their soul to the wireless industry and were the number one salesman of wireless technology, unfortunately, and big deniers of health effects. 
that Donald Trump do better and stand up to this special interest group. It's time to do it now, and this technology is coming to your neighborhood and your house in the next year. People need to wake up and come together around this. I'm tired of seeing environmentalists banging wireless, oblivious to wireless radiation health effects. These groups that are upset with government need to understand that wireless technology is being used to epitomize and act out this. My name's Kevin Modis. I'm with Wireless Education Action and the California Brain Tumor Association. And people should look at saferemr.com, saferemr.com out of UC Berkeley for more information regarding wireless health effects. And they should look at emfscientist.org, emfscientist.org, 223 scientists from 39 countries showing with their own research that wireless radiation definitely has health effects and that our safety standards are inadequate to protect ourselves. We need to stand up for new standards, for warning, for using wired connections instead of wireless, and for testing these frequencies for biological effects before we roll them out on our population, which is what they're doing 5G. Before we put them in elementary schools, on our wrist, and next to our head, and across our communities. It's absolutely insane, and the FCC and the 70-so people there are literally microwave poisoning the rest of our country.